All right, guys, how you doing today? We're doing the 28th hired request on my list for this group, and it's Run for the Roses by Dan Fogelberg. And a great little piano piece that's not too hard to play, but very fun and easy to sing along with. Um, let's hear the intro here. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube for those of you who you know, just want to try out the free videos. Uh, if you'd like the whole, all the lessons for the whole song, as well as thousands and thousands of other videos I've made over the past seven years uh, for teaching piano by ear, that's on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Works on iPad, iPhone, Android systems, any mobile device it'll work on. And... <clears throat> I uh, have the rest of the lessons on there. So we do the whole song on there. Um, Facebook is the best place to check out what I'm doing. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com and you can check out what I'm doing, see what songs are next. Uh, sometimes I'll just post them, but I'm up to that day. <coughs> SeanCheek.com is another website that I have that teaches how to sight read piano music. If you want to learn how to read sheet music, to read it well, there's no popular songs, that kind of stuff on there. There's just uh, my own creation of how to read music better and faster okay so that you can read music well so you can go pick up music anywhere um, at the store and just learn to play it all right but let's get started here for this wet, uh, lesson uh, series for web piano teacher right here starts on a C and we're, we are on the key of F so we're going to have some F chords F A C we're going to have some B flat chords B flat D F which is our four chord F is one B flat is four C is our five chord Alright, C, E, G. Some other chords too, but those are the main ones. We're going to start with a C on the right hand. And then we're going to do A, C, F after that. I'm going to use 1, 2, 4. Some of you might like 1, 2, 5, which is fine. And then another F. And then we're going to play A and G together, which is a 7th that sounds kind of uh, dissonant to our ears, isolated like that. But in the context doesn't bother us when we're up to speed, but that is correct, A and G together. All right, that's what Dan plays there. All right, on the left hand, we're going to have an F, a left F on the thumb, and then this F is a low F, so ba ba, ba. all right? So high F and then a low F, ba ba, so we we'll play right hand first, then the left hand, and then together, one, two, three, ba, uh. and on the uh of three, you come in with A and G. This is in a, a three meter. One, two, three. One, two, three. So three, oh, one, two, three. Well, that's kind of sparse, but that's how the album version is. And I, I show you how to add notes to this if you want to embellish it a little bit, okay? Um, and what you could do there, you can play, you know, you have F, C, F if you want to add some notes in there on the left. Okay? That's, you know, not just sparsely, just add a little bit of C and F in there if you're advanced enough to try to vamp like that. Alright, if you want to play exactly what's on the album, just one, two, three. Alright, let's get to the next measure. C, E, A on the right hand. This is an A minor chord. So an F is the one chord, A minor is the three chord, the minor three chord, A, C, E. So C, E, A on the right. Uh, you can use one, two, five. I like one, two, four a lot. And then we'll go up to E, A, C. I'm, I'm classically trained, so I'll use a lot of weird fingerings that I'm used to using that most people that, you know, just average person that likes to play popular music will use one, three, five. And that's fine. And then one more A there. Okay? So that measure is one, two, three, uh. Again, one, two. One A written, but you can play an A octave. Okay. One, two, three, uh. So let's go from the beginning. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, uh. Now, what would you do to add some notes on the left hand if you wanted to do that? Well, you could play an octave. You could also have an E in there, and you could go. Which would 
sound fine, okay? But if you want to play what the album version has, just one, two, three, up. Now let's tie all that together again. One, two, three. Now we're gonna go. So that's gonna be D, F, and B flat with one, two, four. If you can do it, if you can't, one, two, five is okay. And then a C, just a single C. I don't hear an octave on the recording, so I just put that one C. Then we're gonna have a D octave. And then a, a middle C right at the end. And he does this a lot. And you may wonder, so what's that C doing in there with a B flat chord? Um, well, you have a C there too as well, but a lot of times. Uh, it's in anticipation of the next chord. So that C is... See how that middle C just melds right in? The C chord that's coming up. Okay? So you'll have that quite a bit in this song. Alright, so the right hand is one, two, three, oh, one. Not too heavy on that C. Balance is very important. Balance is the relative uh, weight of, of volume that you give to each note. One, two, three, oh, one. So if you go one, that sounds wrong. Don't play that C so loud. Okay? Left hand's hanging out on a B flat octave. Okay, feel free to play that B flat octave a little more. Not too loudly, don't add too much. Now, can we tie the beginning this far? And this is the way you should practice on anything. Learn a little piece, get it down. Learn the next piece, get it down, then tie them together. See if you can play it together. Then go to the next one and do that. Tie it together. Okay, now on my, on my sight reading website, that's not how we do it. We try to sight read better so we keep moving so our brains are always seeing new notes. So we get good at seeing new notes and translating to the keyboard quickly, okay? But on this kind of stuff, pop music, uh, trying to learn, memorize, play, we want to do it, in, you know, one link in the chain at a time. This is C, E, G, C. And then D, just move your thumb over to play that D. And then the E you can play with your two, but it's one, two, three. All three of these are pretty loud in the right hand. The left hand has a C, and then G, B flat with two, one. one two. And then this F is in, in anticipation of the F chord coming up. Okay? Because we're on a C chord here. So what's that F doing there? Well, it's anticipating the F chord coming up. Alright, if I just do this measure only, it's one, two, uh, three, uh, one, and then count one there. that together from the beginning. One, two, three, two, three, two, three. Okay, work on that. Get that down. Then you can try the next part, which is, let's see how much similar. Uh, it's very similar to this measure, isn't it? But a little different. A, C, F, and then the A on the right hand. Now the left hand has that F. That comes in on count two. And the A F are together, bah, bah, as far as <coughs> they're, you know, part of the same musical slur there, two-note slur, but the right hand has the A because it's already playing the A, and the left hand has the F there. Three, uh, so it's one, two, or one, two, uh. It's count two. One, two, uh, three, uh. And don't play this very loud, but do play this loud. F, and then you have A and G just like you had over here. Let's play this box and go one, two, three, up. Uh. Again, one, two, three, up. Uh. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so we have one, two, so one. In the right hand we have C, E, A. I'm going to use one, two, four. You, you, can, you may use one, two, five if you want. E, A, C. One, three, five, maybe. And then A, C, E with maybe two, three, five, or one, three, five, or... Two, four, five. Lots of uh, options there. A, C, E. It's not going very fast, so you know the fingering isn't too important. So we have left hand as a low A. And that A is a thumb A. And the right hand comes in. And this B flat is a high B flat on the thumb here. Okay, so we put hands together on this box only. One, two, three, oh, one. Again, one. do the last measure. F, B, flat, D. And then we'll come down to D, F, B, flat. And then we'll come move one note and go D, F, A. So bum, bum, bum. 
left hand's on a B flat, and then you have a higher B flat on the thumb. And then this C is middle C. Because we're going to do a low C after that when we get to the website uh, and finish it. So this box is one, two, a three, a one. Again, one, two, a three, a one. Um, let's start right here and do these three boxes. Ready? And go one. the whole thing kind of a medium slow tempo and one two three that's uh, your free part one hope you guys enjoy it uh, enjoy this one and, and all the thousands of other videos on my website lots of people have learned all across the world I think millions by this point um, of students across the world so it's been just a great experience and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time